It's beta time! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains. Weighing in at 450 pounds. The man they call Vader! Hey, this dude can flatten anyone with a Vader bomb. Get ready for a display of brutal striking ability. Vader leveled the competition in Japan. He yeah, also adept at high-flying moves and has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. A Mastodon's on the loose, about to trample over everyone in WWE. My advice for any Vader opponent, run. A Hall of Famer? And our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era a man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge cash and sit down, Saxton. Hey, it's not my fault it's raining money. Oh, I got one. And we are here with the WWE Hall of Famer, JBL, set for action tonight. Nothing pretty about what JBL does, but it sure is effective. If you're a fan of the old school, you are in for a treat tonight. The name of the game is aggression and momentum. We'll see if that's enough for JBL to get the win here. But let's not overlook the fact that it just might be Vader time which usually involves Vader making a gruesome spectacle of his opponent. Yeah, Vader strikes real fear into the hearts of all who oppose him. When that masked face is staring you down, I imagine it's pretty hard to keep your legs from shaking. Oh, 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 legendary Von Eric Claw. I have no idea how he... Trying to find a way out. That's one way out of the submission. Knows what time it is. Lands an elbow. He knows how to avoid contact. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Maverick's plan here can't be good. Oh, right to the throat. JBL not looking himself right now. Vicious arm stop. Here's a tip for taking on a destructive force like Vader. Try and frustrate him with fast attacks and agile offense. For the win! It only gets a one count. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. And an elbow. 
Hip drop. And Vader keeping up the mental pressure to match his physical presence. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Sherman suplex. JBL isn't being given any room to recover. Vader is now fully in. From the top. You gotta be kidding me. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And he slides him back to the mat. He's going for the pin. This could be it. What a match. Ooh. Clubbing blows. Just caught flush. Just look at Vader gain the momentum in this one. But JBL can't allow this burst to hinder him. And he goes into the ring. Able to reverse that one. Drop right on their face. Vader looking for the high risk move. Oh. He paid for that one. Oh man, big time. Ah, oh, blow to the bread basket. Close line from hell from JBL. JBL got all of it. Oh, a kick out, kick out at two. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that bloating. Von Eric Kroll. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? They might be trying to find a way out. That's one way out of the submission. He turns it around on JBL. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, disabling the leg with that. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Into a flapjack. Impressive. What now? Oh, not to the belly. back in under the ropes. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! Nobody home! Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. He got whipped into that corner. Gentlemen, I feel like this match will be over in about five seconds. I think you're right, Corey. Vader, ready to go. Airborne. Vader ball. Can JBL come back from that? Two count. Somehow he kicked out. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Did you see that? Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. It's cinched in. I think we're just moment. And breaks out of the sleeper. Here we go. You're ready for it. in the arm. Boom! Boom line. Oh, the reversal by JBL. Look at the power of the wrestling god, JBL. Just couldn't do it! Kicks out. How? How? Close line from hell. Will that 
clinch things for JBL. The cover! It's all over. JBL wins. Here is your winner, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL! He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. Yep, that's what we call a good day at the office. Here comes the horror. Coming to get you, Saxton. Uh, I think I gotta run to the bathroom. You do that normally, Byron. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the bottomless pits. Weighing in at 260 pounds. The Hey, Byron, are those worms coming out of your, your suit pocket? Whoa, wait, no, 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 tell me you're joking, tell me you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, why didn't you think of that earlier? He ran away, and now it's time for the Boogeyman! Oh. He's coming to get you. You never know what the Boogeyman is going to do when the bell rings. I don't think even the Boogeyman even knows what he's going to do. This guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. Do they sell worms at those health food stores you go to? Absolutely not. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 215 pounds, Gregory. No matter the stipulation or the opposition, this athlete stays the course. They've overcome some tough situations, and I admire that. <laughs> so what? Everyone gets dealt a tough hand from time to time, but you have to know when to fold. Well, knowing this person, I don't think you'll get your wish anytime soon, Corey. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. Well, I... A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. After... Bear hug! Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Close line. Off with their head. Followed by the star. Here he goes for the win. And the count stopped short of two. Still gonna take a massive effort. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, God. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Right to the kidneys from behind. Corey, let's say you're Boogeyman. You've eaten your worms, smashed your clocks, and drawn up a game plan. What are you doing to win this match? Shock and awe, Cole. You a bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. The official asking him, is he going to... Oh, the bear hug, and a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? He's lost some of his win now. He just barely dodges. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! Oh, what a counter. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, no. That look from the boogeyman can't be good. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. no. A big splash. Boogeyman obviously ready to feast on some worms. Hoist it up. Boogie slam by Boogie. Into the cover. And he only stays down for a one count. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. The Boogeyman looking to end this. Boogie bomb. Boogeyman might have just finished things. Three, no, a two count. I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take. And it's fascinating to see disappointment on the bizarre face of someone like the Boogeyman. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Rake right across the back. And now the pace of this match being set up by the Boogeyman. Boogeyman keeping things simple and effective to great results. Some celebratory worms may be in order at the end of the night. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. And now thrown back into the ring. You can see the Boogeyman's crazed eyes taking aim. Fending off Boogeyman. He could be turning his fortunes around. Punch right in the head. No, oh, not pretty. Now, here we go. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. They've got their opponent's arm dropping the knee for more punishment. Uh, ducking underneath. This is a unique move. Vertebreaker. breaker. Boogie Man's on Dream Street. Trying to end it. Oh, and he just kicked out. Oh, come on. Can someone put the Boogie Man away? Great kick out, but the guy gives me the creeps. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Sharp punch. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle's been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Oh! You can't take much more of this. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, huge splash. Oh, Boogie Man setting him up. Oh, this is going to be the Boogie Slam. Cover. There's two. Oh, and a kick out. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. And Boogeyman stringing together some good offense. Yeah, the Boogeyman really remaining the aggressor here. Hold on a 
second. You might be finding a submission hold here. Will this match end on a submission, on a tap out? In this much pain, even an iron will might not be strong enough. Able to free himself from the grip. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Is it enough? The cover! He kicked out. Oh my God, he kicked out. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. Swinging neck breaker. Oh no, one of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Third breaker. Nobody does it better. Cover. Wow, he's gonna celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Gregory. What an incredible match. One we won't soon forget. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors were totally deadlocked, but here you see the one who prevailed. Things are about to get good. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 275 pounds, The Assassin. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a sudden chill in the air. Well, Dexter Loomis has arrived. And his opponent, from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. He's almost reptilian in his movements. You're right, Saxton. His walk, his crawl, his attacks in the ring, everything about Loomis is nightmare fuel. The eyes of an artist who will paint a picture of his victims before their match. Competitors dread seeing their image painted by Loomis. I wasn't going to say anything, but Loomis painted Saxton earlier today. He did? Wait, can I at least keep the painting? Sure, if you survive.
The mysterious, eccentric Dexter Loomis here tonight, clearly focused intensely on his opposition. Mysterious, eccentric, really cool. Disconcerting, unsettling, creepy. All those words better describe Dexter Loomis. Or how about this one? Psychopath. The man's kidnapped people, Cole. He literally stalks his opponents. And look at Saxton. He's shaking in his seat. Some would argue that all of that is just the mind games of Loomis, as devastating mentally as he is physically in the ring, truly punishing a... A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. He's got it locked in. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Oh, Close line. Caught him with a big... He thinks he has it. He's able to beat a two count. Not quite enough to put him away. Devastating kick. Climbing to the top rope. Incoming! Whoa! What a landing! Big time risk pays off! The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Corey, we talk a lot about the mind games that someone like Dexter Loomis plays against his opponents. But because his intimidation level can quickly turn the tables in his favor. If you want to stand a chance against Loomis, you've got to stay focused. Don't think about how he probably plans to kidnap you and put you in his basement after the match. Just think about the fight and the win. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh! Hoping to end it here! Kicks out after one. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Nice reversal by Loomis. And Loomis is finally changing the tempo with that attack. That might be the crucial opening Loomis was looking for. Getting him into the corner. Bulldog! Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Uh-oh. Dodges out of the way. Planted with the Bulldog. Ah, four just raking across the face. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Loomis came out here to physically and mentally punch. Uh oh. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And gets tossed back into the mat. Boo him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. He's heading up top on the top. Elbow drop, good lord! Down to Odin! And a oh no, where'd the lights go out? More importantly, where'd Byron go? Get back here, Saxton. Into the corner now. And a bulldog to follow it up. Great athleticism. Loomis gets intercepted. And now Loomis is being measured. Uh-oh. Dark matter. Loomis looks out of it. Cover. Two. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner, the Assassin. Got to hand it to our winner, standing tall with their arm raised tonight. I don't care if it's your fifth victory or your 5,000th. As he's showing right now, nothing matters more here in WWE than having your name called and your arm raised.
Here comes the Tribal Chief. A decade of dominance, even more powerful than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief has participated in some of the biggest matches we have ever seen. Including an absolutely unforgettable SummerSlam main event. The first last man standing match in SummerSlam history. Just one of countless memorable moments in the incredible career of Roman Reigns. And the scary part is, Saxton, the Tribal Chief is nowhere near finished. He needs to transform into a one-man battalion in order to take on the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. I'm not sure that's going to be enough to overcome Sheamus. Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus! The leader of the brawling brutes. I'll tell you, this guy will fight anyone, even his friends. Well, it's a good thing Sheamus doesn't consider you a friend. Still a lot of fights left in the Celtic Warrior, that's for sure. A pint and a fight is a good Sheamus night. My sources say the Celtic Warrior already has a couple cold ones waiting backstage. Sheamus is known the world over as the Celtic Warrior, and it's a very fitting moniker. Few superstars can match Sheamus' pure fighting spirit. This is a competitor who never backs down from the battle. Sheamus never has to back down because he's usually the man asking for a fight. I don't think there's anything Sheamus loves more than mixing it up in the ring. He just wants to get in there and have it out with anyone brave enough to take him on. I think you're right about that. Sheamus seems eager as ever for a fight. But across the ring is the head of the table himself, Roman Reigns. Reigns has been anointed the Tribal Chief by his family's elders, and he is absolutely mur- The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. A cravat sleeper. He's fading. Submission locked. On, he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. And Sheamus is countered. Oh, boy, takedown. Oh, no, wait a minute. What power. That's got to be it. And he kicks out of the pen and one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Oh, the power! Unparalleled intensity from the big dog. The power of Sheamus being suppressed. Back. Uh-oh. Oh, Sheamus saw it coming. Corey, you've been in the ring with Reigns before. How exactly do you counteract someone as explosive as him? Well, first, just to be clear, Cole, I lost against Reigns. So I don't know if I even knew at the time how to counteract Reigns' explosiveness. But I do wish I'd done more to slow and dull him down. Though I know it's a lot easier said than done. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, my God. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Staved off that attack. 
Just deadlifting right there. The power. Superhuman. Blow to the chest. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. He's on his heels. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Got it. No, just a two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. from the big dog. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. To the sky. Whoa, look out. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Close line. He's taking this to the floor now. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oof! Bang! Oof! Oh! He foiled that attempt. Neckbreaker. Reigns' lack of mercy being met in kind there. Sheamus was clearly enjoying. Yeah. Celtic Warrior with the Irish curse backbreaker. Bro kick. No doubt, Sheamus ended this. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Cover. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Amazing. What resilience being shown from Reigns here tonight. Well, guys, Sheamus loves a fight, so a part of him might be happy that this one isn't over. Boom, right the button. He's been placed in the corner now. Punishing their opponent. Oof. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. Reigns is facing some serious trouble. And you have to hand it to him. He has managed to slow Reigns down, to dull the edges of the tribal chief as much as possible. Tossing them aside. Right to the knee. Sheamus setting him up. High cross from Sheamus. What a fearsome attack by the Celtic Warrior. Now there's a bottomless supply of fight at the core of Sheamus. These two showing how well scouted they Oh no, he could be caught here. Bad spot for him. Reigns able to sidestep. Boom! DDT. Reigns heads up. This is going to be good. Oh, look out. Good Lord. Taking flight. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. That didn't look good for Sheamus. Yeah, he's busted open now. Look at the power by Reigns. Wow. Niagara driver. The Tribal Chief taking a moment to compose himself. Looks more like taking a moment to gloat. Supernatural Ooh. power! And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh my goodness, the big dogs. Are... Looking for the submission to the Boston Crab! Look at the back position. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict... Boston Crab, no more! 
These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all mass, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. And Roman finding himself on the wrong end of this fight. No matter what phase in the match, Sheamus never has any trouble brutalizing his opponents. Oh, a European uppercut. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. Wow! I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Oh, oh this is just flat-out punishment. Right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. How much more can the big dog withstand? Bro! May have just vanquished Reigns! Shoulders down! Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Reigns kicks out at two and nine tenths. The Tribal Chief stays alive. And one thing we know is that Sheamus loves to fight, but you have to wonder how comfortable he's feeling right now. The WWE Universe is on... Superman punch by Reigns. Wow, Reigns nailed it. Makes the cover. What a win. Wait a second. Oh, you hear that? You know whose music that is. Oh, oh wait, look, behind. Behind. look at this. An ambush. Completely caught him off guard. We're underway, tag me. This is not going to go well, I don't believe. Definitely not a good sign for this duo. There's no way these two are gonna get along. Now watch for the opponents that look to take advantage of this discord between these two superstars. As this match gets underway, there's clearly no love lost in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other, they don't respect each other. Well, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, Maybe a little beatdown will. On the attack from behind. Neck breaker! Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Headbutt. Vicious right forearm. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Hits him with the counter. Oh, what a right hook. Sent into the corner. Ooh, he's getting a little batter now. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might want to make a tag now and not... Oh, into the corner now. Tag made. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Unintentional contact. They better recover quick. This match continues. We've got some tandem offense on the horizon. What Tremendous teamwork. Match. You know these teams have been dying to get their hands on each other, and you're seeing the result here tonight. It's understandable that this superstar was questioning whether or not he was hit on purpose by their friend. We'll just have to wait and see whether or not cooler heads ultimately prevail. Here's the cover. Rope break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Oh, 
Was mounted with punches and not oh, and a oof. stop to the gut too. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Great counter. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble right across the face. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Here he comes off the tag. Solo Sokoa casting an intimidating look out at the fans. And he gets the tag. What a punch! Oh, foot just stomping down. You hear the talk in the lot. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Oh! Saving his team. That didn't go as Solo picture. Oh, look at the knees. Just unloading knees to the body. So Cole spinning Solo. Oh, no. Warrior in trouble. He keeps his team in the match. Just one step ahead. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Gets the tag. What a clothesline! Ouch. Tag made. Fresh man in. Oh, uh, clothesline! Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. And that's the tag to the Ultimate Warrior. Ooh, that hurt. That'll ring your bell. Look to the gut. There is the playmaker. In off the tag. Down to Odin. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Uh, just frustration here. You can see emotion on this young man. Yeah, he really uh, gave his heart and soul in this match. Yeah, I feel for him. I mean, he had an extremely impressive display, but it just wasn't enough. It looks like we're going to see a little salt in the wound. It appears this superstar's manager's had enough. Yeah, isn't the manager supposed to be there with support? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. The manager's fed up.